<laughs> That's this week's uh, next story. We're going to dash through it on CBDNN. Um, as Charles said, New Zealand's to vote on cannabis legalization on Saturday. Sorry, did I jump the gun there? No, it's okay. You were right on point, Charles. <laughs> right on point, there, bro. <laughs> we, we didn't even get a chance to do the dank, the dank, the dank, the dank. <laughs> must be all the CBD I'm vaping. So, uh, voters in New Zealand will vote on Saturday on a nationwide referendum that would legalize the use of the possession of cannabis by those 20 years of age and older. If passed, the vote would make New Zealand only the third country in the worldwide to legalize cannabis at a national level, joining Uruguay and Canada. Uh, what it says is that the measure would also permit adults at least 20 years old to purchase up to 14 grams of herbal <laughs> cannabis per day. 14 grams per day. So if you're 15 no. years old, you can legally smoke 15 grams a day in New Zealand. No, if you're 20, one, 20, 20, 20, 20 and up. Oh, okay. yeah. But yes, in theory, you can smoke 14 grams That's a day. Bad. <laughs> but what if it's more than that? Then they won't lock you up again. There's always these well, yeah, you get a a stupid stupid limits. You're pressing it for extraction, you're going to get grammed. So. So you just got to go pop by every day for 14 grams until you've got enough. The article doesn't say what the new laws will be about if you fuck up. But I imagine they'll be better because the worst thing that could happen to you, not like South Africa, if you got bust for weed, you're sitting there with your 100 grams or whatever, and they kick down the door, you do at most, at most, three months. Three months. At most Stop. in New Zealand. That was when it was shit. And All now right. they're voting to possibly change that. They do say that you'll be allowed to have up to four prawns, though, which is kind of low. Mm. I don't know, hey? It's not enough. They crap, yeah, they don't understand. It's crap. It's they, they, want to, they want people to be buying more from retailers or shops. So, than but, growing their own. but how? Because I look at it, I'm not that familiar with it. It looks almost like a decriminalization thing. You can have so many prawns per you. You can, I, I guess, like you said, so they can buy counting. 14 grams. They have to Just buy it from someone. Counting. So maybe it's low key Amsterdam vibes. But what, government grows. but what they do say is that opinion is split. 49.5% say they're for it. 49.5% say they're against it. Wow. And 1% says meh. What? meh. What? So they're really pushing to change minds right now. Yeah, even the doctors um, are like... I read today that they're struggling to kind of educate people to, to swing that vote, you know. Because they're right on the middle. But I think a 50-50 already should be like a yes, you know. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You know, it's half the population. Yeah. Give it to them. And stop it's counting the plants. Uh, Tom yes. Kelly's got a, just a nice point here. Industrial hemp is for industrial or non-human consumption type uses. Surely if grown for CBD, it becomes a botanical extraction type plant falling under SOPRA regs. So, Yes. We were talking about this before I dawdled off on it. As Boom was saying, if this is done under SAPRA regs, uh, we're going to have to see what the license looks like to see if it's agricultural SAPRA. It's but not if it, SAPRA. It's not SAPRA. Because no. SAPRA does say it's not medicine if it's smoked. Plain and simple. So that's yeah. what, whatever we say yeah. between yeah. us, they mm -hmm. say it ain't medicine if it's smoked. So we're going to have to see this license. I would imagine they're going to be showing it off yeah. proudly yeah. to see if it's a Department of Agriculture thing. But what they're saying, how I understood it, was that this hemp is being sold to the public, but then when the public buy it, they have to fill out a little survey type thing because it's a research mm. permit. So it's not it's been sold with in, in, uh, other intent. So you can't get it. any without signing. I would imagine so. Mm. It is part of a research. It's sort of like a private club in a way as well. In a private club, you got to give your full details, almost your fingerprints. I guess. Let's be chill. Why not? Got to wait two weeks. Yeah, because yeah, Lefolo are actually doing a blend as well. You see. Um, and they use a, a hemp blend. A hemp yeah. flower blend. Because they do vanadacha. Um, it's high in CBD uh -huh. and you it's thirty percent, and the rest uh, of it is other smokable, smokable herbs. Yeah, do those blends. Um, so they've been doing it as well. And when you buy Lefolo CBD or hemp blend, you have to, um, you have to give your details to leave a review for the. Research purposes of what Lee can you buy it online? Is, yeah. So that's how they've gotten around the whole clinical studies type thing. Yeah, they they're taking studies from because everyone. clinical studies studies are a major part in doing mm. any kind of trials and research, human yeah. trials. You have to do clinical studies. It's this very is like hard. public research. Yes, yeah, so this is a public this research. Is that's consumer research, literally. Yeah. Dale, can you mail order the follow? 
I'm sure you can. But you probably still sure pulled that thing it's online before. It's Mail on, order, like with a check or something. It's on Harrison Brown. No, Quinn says you don't. You don't have to. Quinn says you don't have to sign anything. Okay. Oh, you don't have to sign anything. You don't have to sign anything. Okay. But it is a research thing, eh? We're not being crazy. Yeah.